But we're going to change gears and focus on Godrej Properties, which managed to sell 6 lakh square feet of villas in a single day at the launch of its first project, Crest, which is part of a 100-acre township uh, called Godrej Gulf Links. And, you know, this project is an important one for the Godrej, uh, for Godrej Properties because it's the first in the Noida, Greater Noida market. And it's being developed by a joint venture with the ACE Group. Uh, the stock, if you notice, is up to an a quarter percent in trade today at 300 and 68. I'm very pleased to welcome Piro Shah Godrej, Managing Director and CEO at Godrej Properties, to talk about this project and what the NCR region really offers up in terms of opportunity for the company. Mr. Godrej, thanks very much for joining us. So, six lakh square feet of villa space sold within a day of unveiling of Project Crest, quite a milestone. But for the Godrej Group, for Godrej Properties, what does it really mark? Mani, thanks and great to be with you. Um, you know, this was a very important new project launch for us because it's the first project we are launching in the Noida or Greater Noida markets um, and therefore a very important project for us because we do believe that Noida is a critical real estate market in the country. It's the only large real estate market in which we did not yet have a presence. So I think establishing ourselves there and getting off to things with a good start uh, was very important for us, and I think this we're, we're very excited about the response the project received. Well, on the first day itself, we sold about 600,000 square feet of space, which puts it with you know the best launches we've ever had anywhere in the in the country. And this uh, this again is our is our first project in the city, so we're extremely excited about that and looking forward to using this uh, you know to grow our presence in the Noida and Greater Noida uh, markets, where again we see a huge amount of opportunity. But you seem to have started off um, on, you know, a sort of premium segment note uh, with Crest. Can you share some details about it in particular? Yeah, you know, it is a it is a villa project, so it's not, you know, an apartment project. So that does make it a little bit uh, more premium. At the same time, you know, it is positioned in a way that that is affordable. I mean, you know, on a on a relative uh, basis. But we are selling villas and starting from, you know one crore kind of onwards. Um, and some of the larger ones are considerably more than that. So it is a, it is a premium project, certainly. Um, and you know, the goal is to deliver something of a very high quality. It's going to be a golf-centered township, so we have a nine-hole golf course, a lot of outstanding amenities and, and features to the project. And I think that's what's also helped it uh, sort of break through the clutter and what's otherwise quite a weak market in NCR at the moment. You know, you talked about the NCR market being weak, and uh, that's why it's interesting to see your enthusiasm, um, you know, for Noida, Greater Noida area, because on the face of it, and certainly from everyone that I've spoken to in recent times, it's been a kind of depressed market. So how do you explain um, your enthusiasm for the region? Yeah, you know, I think the market, as you rightly pointed out, certainly hasn't been very good for the last two or three years in both Noida and NCR overall. Um, at the same time, we've been extremely encouraged, encouraged with the progress we've made in NCR. Uh, we first entered NCR through the Gurgaon market about five years ago and have done extremely well there. And we've, you know, it's been one of the best performing parts of our portfolio. So I think for, for good developers with good projects in the right locations, there continue to be demand. But that said, I think more important than that is the fact that it's important not to be too driven in this uh, sector by short-term history, because you know I think this is a very cyclical industry, both in India and globally. That has always been the case. And we think the exact right time to be bullish about a market is when things aren't looking as good, because that is when we can get projects at the right valuations, can get the number of projects we want. And that is very much our focus in NCR. Um, NCR is you know, the biggest city in India. It's for most years been the biggest uh, real estate market in the country. We firmly expect that that will continue, although we also expect the next couple of years to continue to be quite challenging in the market. Um, but you know, a lot of these projects that we're adding are eight, 10 year projects and will need to perform both in the up cycle and the down cycle. And the right time certainly to acquire projects we believe is when things are not looking very good and when there is a general sense of pessimism in the market as there, as there currently is. So strategically speaking, what is the kind of activity we can expect from you in the NCR market over the next six to 12 months? 
Yes, I think you know if things go according to plan, you can expect a lot of additions to our portfolio in this market. We're seeing a lot of attractive deals in both Gurgaon, NCR, I mean Gurgaon, Noida, and even other parts of NCR. Um, and we are very keen to capture some of these opportunities. So if, if things go according to plan, uh, we'll certainly see a large number of new projects getting added and hopefully uh, several more successful launches as well. Okay, that pretty much uh, covers the NCR market. But beyond the NCR market from Godrej Properties, flag off the next few milestones we can expect. So, you know, our, our entire focus right now is uh, on doing the best we can to grow our presence in the four top markets in the country, which are Mumbai, NCR, uh, Bangalore, and Pune, which cumulatively we think account for about 50% of the Indian real estate market. And we see strong opportunities for ourselves to grow in each of these markets by adding uh, new projects in various micro markets in these four cities. So that uh, will be our top focus. Um, we do have a few short-term goals that we think will, uh, will boost short-term performance considerably, like selling the remaining space we have in our BKC project, which is now complete, and where we think we can unlock uh, a considerable amount of cash uh, for redeployment into the residential space. We also are launching the third phase of our, of our flagship project, The Trees, hopefully in the fourth quarter. So that'll be another important uh, short-term milestone for us. So let's just stick with the sale of the remaining space at BKC for a moment. What are the kind of deadlines you're looking at? You know, uh, my, my own deadline would, of course, be yesterday because the project is now complete and, and there's no reason that, that we shouldn't be uh, able to sell it. I think the commercial market is also picking up and providing support. So certainly our goal uh, that we laid out at the beginning of the year uh, was to sell all of the space within the current financial year. I, I'm still hopeful we can, we can achieve that goal. Mr. Godrej, every time we talk, things seem to be moving along at a steady clip for Godrej Properties. So what does that really mean at the top line and bottom, bottom line level for the full year? Um, well, you know, I think we, we've, we've very studiously avoided giving any guidance because in this sector, uh, you know, I think it's, it's a little bit uh, uh, foolish, we think, really, to give guidance because there's so much variability and so many things that can change, particularly linked to government approvals and timelines of projects. But certainly, you know, I think the company's uh, been doing quite well. Last year, we saw our bookings grow by over 80% on a compounded basis for the last 10 or 11 years. Now we've seen our revenues and profits go at about uh, 40% a year. So I think we're quite happy with the, the stage the company has come to. But certainly, we're still at the very early stages of the, the possibilities available in this sector. We, you know, we're, we're, we're fortunate to play in what is probably the country's uh, largest industry and an industry that, despite being so large, is at a very nascent stage of growth. And I think given our nationwide presence, given our brand, we feel good about our ability uh, to you know, continue to do well uh, in the sector. Um, finally, you know, the RERA notification this week, applicable to union territories for now, um, states will follow suit, two have already done, so UP and Gujarat, but everyone I've spoken to so far seems to suggest there are some gaps which need to be filled. What uh, are some of the issues uh, that persist according to you? You know, I think the key thing that perhaps hasn't been addressed to the, to the level it should have been is what is the government's accountability uh, to ensuring support for the real estate sector. You know, I think obviously we are in total alignment and agreement with the idea that real estate developers must be regulated and must be held accountable for areas where they are not performing uh, up to the expectations of customers. But there must be a more clear policy environment. There must be a more clear regulatory environment with the government holding themselves equally accountable uh, for providing clarity and for providing time-bound clarity on various rules and regulations. I think the single most challenging um, aspect of the sector is the level of flux uh, that is constantly present in almost every real estate market in terms of the rules, the interpretation of the rules, new rules being brought in, and you know, the defer, deferring interpretations of those rules by various government arms. So I think um, the, we welcome RERA. We think it is an important step. But I think to make it truly effective and truly serve the end goal of protecting customers' interests while growing um, real estate ownership in the, uh, in the country, um, I think the government must hold itself uh, you know, as accountable as it, as it aims to hold uh, private real estate developers. 
Absolutely. Well, Pirusha Godrich, thank you very much for joining us uh, today on NDTV. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Nice to, nice to be with you. Thank you.